In this video, traders, we're going to look at the synthetic short stock position we can create with options contracts. Stay tuned. Hey traders, very well, welcome to you. Okay, so there are times when you might want to create a synthetic short position using options. You may not be able to sell or borrow the shares to sell short in the underlying. You may just want the flexibility of being able to put off, take off the put, take off the call, add it on, add it off. However you see the market developing, whatever your thesis may be for the trade. So let's have a look how we could create it. What happens to the P&L on the deal for certain expiries, and let's see the results and how much it would cost us. So to create a synthetic short stock, we're basically buying one at the money put, but we're selling one at the money call at the same time. Uh, there are ways that we can split the strikes and perhaps do this in another video, so stay tuned for that one and hit the subscribe button if you're interested in that. But this is just a synthetic short stock position. Now, XYZ is currently trading at 40 bucks and we want to be net short on this, a synthetically short net short position. So we're buying one $40 put and we're paying $100 for that. So it's trading at $1, one contract, 100 shares, costing us 100 bucks. That's costing us 100. But we're selling the $40 call for 150, it's trading $1.50, we receive 150 back. So we get a net credit of $50. We receive $50 for placing this trade on. Now, you might be asking why are the put and calls different prices? Well, this is going to depend in the real world. In the real world, often the call is going to be a little bit more expensive than the put. Sometimes at the same price, sometimes a little bit more. Just showing in this example of hypothetically that you could actually receive money for doing this if you managed to find stock that was and more expensive on the call side than it was the put. Okay, so let's have a look at different examples. So what would happen at 50 bucks? So 50 bucks, uh, we are going up. The stock price has moved up at expiry. It's moved up by $10. What happens to the deal? Well, we're going to lose money, but how much money are we going to lose? So how much is the value of our $40 call? Our $40 call uh, has an intrinsic value. Need to wipe that off then. Has an intrinsic value of... $10, right? Because the call is the right to buy something at $40 that's currently trading at 50, 10 bucks worth of value. That's all well and good, but of course uh, we sold that, which isn't so good. But anyway, the value of that option is $1,000 because it's 100 shares times by the $10. Uh, the value of the put option is worthless because I've got the right to sell something uh, 40 that's currently trading at 50. That's got no value. Okay, so the total uh, loss on that deal is a thousand, but we received a fifty dollar credit. Don't forget for the deal. So a total loss on this deal is nine fifty. Uh, what would our total loss be if we were net uh, short the actual stock? We'll be down ten dollars on hundred shares of stock. So we'll be down a thousand dollars. So we're only down a little bit less because of that net credit because the call is a little bit more expensive. However, if the call was the same price as the put, the hundred dollars, it would be exactly the same. There's this dotted line here, and actually, you know, we could put here a uh, short stock on the dotted line, and that one there is the synthetic short. So slightly, it's a bit too skewed that way, but you get the idea. You're kind of down a little bit less. So. Uh, $30, what happened at $30, that is good for us because we're synthetically short. The call expires worthless, which is good um, because we get the $450 on that one because we were shorting that $40 call. What about the $30, uh, what about the put, sorry, the $40 put? That's got uh, $30 expiry price, gives us $10 worth of intrinsic value, right? So again, that's worth $1,000, just like the call was, which is good. Uh, but we did pay $100 for that anyway, so we've only made $900 on that but of course we've made the 150 on that so we made 1050 which makes sense because the thousand dollars is the option value plus the fifty dollar credit we've made 1050 as opposed to only the thousand dollars we would make if we were naked short or net short on the stock going down ten dollars times a hundred thousand dollars okay so and that's we can see the plot here it's around about the thousand dollar mark here and this one down here is around about the minus a thousand dollar mark okay what about uh, if it sticks at $40. Well, if it sticks at $40 with these prices, what happens? Well, of course, we just get exactly what we got. The put expires worthless. The call expires worthless. We've lost 100 bucks on that put. Uh, sorry, the put, yeah, we've, we've uh, made 150 bucks on the call. We've made a credit of 50. Now, of course, if they were the same price, 
would have a net of zero on this, and this would all be shifted $50 against us. So it's a quite a good thing to do if the call is more expensive. We can create a synthetic short stock position. Like I said, if it's hard to borrow stock, this might be something else we want to do. And we've got the flexibility. We can take off the put, we can take off the call if things change and our viewpoints change as the stock starts to move. Or perhaps we've got this on already, we've got the at the money put starts to, or we've got an out the money put, perhaps it comes to at the money, then we decide to create into a synthetic short by setting the at the money call to lock that in, to make it now a linear PL as we go up and down the stock price. Anyway, guys, that's a synthetic short stock position in the options market. Take care, whatever you're doing out there. See you next one. Goodbye.